Beginning with the Second World War, a lot of tanks were lost during military operations or during transport on the bottom of rivers, lakes and oceans. Some of these tanks were discovered after a couple of decades by scuba divers and since then continue to attract tourists. But how about transforming these tank graveyards into underwater military museums? Some countries has begun to apply this plan. One of the most famous tank graveyards in Europe is located in Studland Bay, south of Bournemouth, in England. On the 4th of April 1944, Operation Smash was held at Studland Bay with the duplex drive Valentine tanks. A trial run of the tanks ran into difficulty when a change in the weather adversely affected the sea conditions. Seven tanks sank with the loss of six crew members. Everybody said that Operation Smash was an absolute complete disaster, but the lesson learned by British Army from this trial was that the tanks would not survive being launched too far from the beach and consequently, on D-Day itself, their tanks were released in shallow water. But when the Americans launched their tanks 5 kilometers offshore during the Normandy landings, just two of the 29 tanks initially deployed to storm Omaha Beach made it ashore. If the British and Canadian hadn't got their armored support ashore on D-Day, their troops may have lost the beachhead and this could have changed the course of the war. The largest shipwrecks underwater cemetery in the world is located in the Chuk Lagoon, a small atoll in Micronesia, 1300 kilometers northeast of New Guinea. Covered in coral and left to rest on the Pacific Ocean floor, sometimes less than 50 meters deep, these are the stunning remains of Japan's arsenal of military vehicles, which were targeted in one of America's most important bombing operations during World War II. From tanks to submarines, this military equipment was once part of a key Japanese naval base in Micronesia. American Fleet Task Force 58 targeted the naval base on the 17th of February 1944 during a vital two-day mission known as Operation Hailstorm. The success of the daring raid played a vital part in allowing Allied forces to gain the advantage in the Pacific campaign. 191,000 tons of warshipping now lies 180 feet down at the bottom of the ocean, untouched since one of Japan's worst World War II defeats. It is estimated that over 400 aircrafts and 50 Japanese naval ships were destroyed in this deadly operation. The site has become a strange paradise covered by corals over the years, where manta rays, turtles and sharks swim around the ships and war weapons while nature takes its course. While these tank graveyards had a great tourism potential, other countries decided to create their own underwater military museums. Jordan has launched in 2019 its first underwater military museum of the Red Sea coast and local authorities and the armed forces spent seven days sinking tanks, a combat helicopter and anti-aircraft guns of the coast of diving resort city Aqaba. The project offers a new and unique museum experience where adventure-loving tourists can experience the interaction between sports, the environment and the display pieces. The dive site, launched by the Aqaba Special Economic Zone Authority, was designed to integrate with the existing coral reef. Another country in the region, Bahrain, invested in underwater tourism, sinking a Boeing 747 airplane off the artificial island complex Deyar al Muharraq to attract divers and tourists. Turkey is also seeking to attract tourists in a similar manner, sinking an Airbus jet near its northwestern coast to serve as a diving hotspot. The modified aircraft was sunk off the Gallipoli Peninsula in an effort to attract thrill-seeking divers from around the world. I hope you enjoyed our video. If you know other interesting tank graveyards located underwater, please leave a comment about them. If you want to see more interesting videos, help our channel to grow by pressing the like button and share our videos with your friends. And if you are the first time here, don't forget to subscribe.